look at this carp. Oh my god. <laughs> it's magic. Look at it. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. There's the little baby. Oh, the twig. It's delivered again. Well, hi there, everyone, and welcome back to Fishing's Got Talent, the series where we go out with anglers who are making the very most out of OMC Tackle. It's time to meet Beginner Carp UK. So here's Gavin at Beginner Carp UK, and he's a man who we get sent a lot of catch reports from at OMC, pretty much weekly. You do a lot of fishing on day ticket waters, don't you, mate? Yes, indeed. And you've had a pretty good year this year, yeah? Yeah, it's been an incredible year for me so far. What have you caught? I've, um, so far, linear fisheries has been the best by far, but I've had a 8 to 9 30s, um, up to 36, and, and then I managed to snag my first UK 40 this year at a braised nose one. So it was absolutely mega fish. My target for the year was ticked nice and early, So, but I've had a lot of backup 20s as well. So the sessions that I did at Norton, one fish under 20 pound it's it's just yeah it's gone really well so far yeah like i say you seem to be sending us catch reports almost every week which is brilliant um what are you doing what what's the secret basically what what are you using to to help to, you catch to be honest on day tickets it's it's to be more of an all-rounder and be very versatile so you don't want to turn up with right i'm putting spinners out and that's how i'm fishing i'm going over bait you need to adapt to how the fish want you to feed because they're busy aren't they and you can't get on fish if you have to go in a peg that's just off fish zigs zigs are massive for me because you can nick a bite spotting over zigs you can nick a bite fishing single zigs um spinners are always for my pop-ups but on a lot of day tickets i use solid bags as well so if you if you're struggling for a bite and you your session's progressing just chuck a solid bag a solid bag a little bit past your spot can always pinch you a bonus fish so it's like i say just be adaptable understand that try and judge your swim if you need to move you have to move to get on fish but inevitably i use four or five different rigs so there's not just one in particular and you've got one favorite hook from the omc range haven't you and this isn't oh, yeah. going to surprise anybody is it no it's the lock hook 100 percent the lock hook literally zigs lock hook d rigs lock hook solid bags lock hook everything every single one of my rigs are on the lock hook size eights and sixes um, I don't deviate bigger, I don't deviate smaller. Them two sizes for me are absolutely perfect. And be honest, have you lost a fish on them yet? Genuinely, any fish that I've hooked on a lock hook, I've not lost. I've always been landed, even the barbless. So at Norton, every single fish I hooked on a barbless lock, I landed. Ridiculous. So, yeah, crazy. What about the other items in the range? What's been working for you and what what do you like so the, all the for the spinner i use the kickbacks same as everybody else fit a bits crimps um with a liner my favorite aligner is red but if i am fishing a yellow pop-up i will fish a yellow aligner um but if i'm fishing wafters i keep it very very simple i literally get a bit of the blend uh fluorocarbon and i just fish a d-rig um and that is it so lock up d-rig little bait screw and just keep it so simple it's unbelievable i don't overcomplicate nothing that's it and it's working wonders for you isn't yeah. it so yeah i've got got to see you in action this session and you've caught a few for the cameras here as well so fantastic and we're gonna have a little talk to your partner in crime as well in a minute so yeah happy days nice work mate thank you very much okay so here's the second member of beginner carp uk here's mikey and you've had an equally as good year so far haven't you in 2024 yeah what have you caught this year mate so this year started off really really well so far we've had loads and loads of 30s loads of 20s we've had some mega sessions both down here at linear fisheries um we've had some really good hits at norton disney for example another another day ticket water we fish at the last session i had, I had 21 fish in 48 hours uh, I think 17 of them were, were over the £20 mark. So um, we've had a really good year, really enjoying the fishing this year. Um, it's been a superb start, to be fair. And what's the biggest carp you've had this year? This year, my biggest carp has been £38, and that was from B1 um, on a zig, <laughs> believe it or not. 
Nice. And go, moving on to rigs and stuff then, yeah. you you don't use many rigs, do you? But you've got some that you've got real confidence in. So what, what are your go-tos? Yeah, absolutely. So my go-to rigs are the spinner rig, the D rig, and the zig rig. Um, and if I'm using a solid bag, I'll just use like a four inch hair rig. So the three go-to rigs are gonna be a zig rig, the spinner rig, and the D rig. Um, I don't really venture out anything else but that because that's what I've got confidence in and that's what catches me the fish. And I mean, Gavin uses lock hooks pretty much exclusively. You yeah. actually, you're a fan of the lock hook as well, but you're yeah. more than happy to use the other hooks in the range as well. Is that right? Absolutely, yeah. I'm a massive fan of the curve as well. Um, on the zigs, I like the curve. Don't be wrong. The con the con V. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> don't get me wrong. The lock hook is superb, and I will use it on most of my rigs. But if I've got no lock hooks left, I was no problem whatsoever switching down to that con V. Yeah. Yeah. And any of the others at all, or is it just locks and con Vs? Just them two at the minute. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I've got confidence in all of them. Yeah. Um, but they're the they're the two hooks that I go to for for all the rigs. Yeah. Uh, both sizes, eight, six, and four. Yeah, so. and I think your zig fishing is particularly interesting. Well, I've seen you catch a mid-30 on a zig this <laughs> session. Yeah. So your zig fishing is particularly interesting. Yeah. Um, you've got a lot of confidence in zigs, even at depths of up to 12 foot, which is what you've been fishing this session. Yeah. What's the fascination with zigs? I just think with a zig, you can explore them upper layers of the water. The fish aren't going to spend all their time at the bottom. They're just not. So with a zig, you can explore them depths all the way from the bottom all the way to the top once you find where them fish are the thermocline I think they call it so once you find that thermocline the water where the fish are that's it you know you can have you can change change from planking to having a mega session just like the one I've done here I've not had a single fish off the bottom they've all been on zigs uh, 12 foot zigs so my fascination and obsession with zigs is they can just be a complete utter blank saver um, and you can have mega sessions on zigs you could have quite easily blanked this session if it weren't for the zigs as well. 100%. Yeah, there we go. So there's the tips, guys, that you need to catch well on day ticket waters from the whole team at Beginner Carp UK. And before we sign off, who's better, mate? You or Gav? <laughs> you stiffed me up there, aren't you? Uh, I'm going to have to say I'm the better angler, but uh, I think we're on par, to be fair. I think when we are together, we bounce off each other, so um, we kind of egg each other on and give each other tips and why you try this try that try this so as a team we work well together so i'll say we're good as a team and you just have fun catching fish which is what we it's just all about. love catching fish i don't care what size they are as long as they're ripping off mega nice one mate <laughs>